Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing the resume that got me interviews with top data science companies such as Facebook, Microsoft, Lyft and many others for my internship. If you are new to my channel, my name is Prasper and I transitioned from a non-CS background to data science. If this is something you are interested in, make sure you subscribe to the channel and be on the lookout for more content and also make sure you share my content with others as well. Let's get into it. Resumes are very important in any job application process and specifically data science where the pool of applicants is usually large it is important that you keep your resume concise brief and consistent so that it can stand out among the pool of applicants for a typical data science uh, resume there are two key things that uh, recruiters look out for the first is a structure of your or the design how like the design of your resume and the second one is the, the content so we are going to go to we are going to go through these uh, two key things now on the structure of the design every resume should have a number of sections so for my resume I have the following sections that's the header section the skills experience the projects I worked on and finally my education now one other thing to note about the structure of the resume is the formatting. You should always keep it to 12 points and also make sure you don't have a lot of spaces across the different sections. Now, let's move to the content of each of these um, sections. Now, the first one is the header section. I have my name boldly written and I have my address, phone number, and my email. And my email. I also have a link to my GitHub and my LinkedIn. It is very important that you add your GitHub and your LinkedIn uh, profile to your resume. And the next section is the skill section. This, without looking at the rest of the um, of the resume, if a recruiter or a hiring manager should look at just the first two sections, that like want to spend just five seconds on your resume. The skills that you should point out, the skills that you have as a potential data scientist. So my skill session, I have three subsections over here. I have the languages that I'm comfortable with, that's Python, I use Python a lot, R, SAS, C++, and Java. I mostly do my work in Python. Now then you have the tool section. You have SQL, Hadoop, Git, so on and so forth. Then the frameworks and the methods. So I'm comfortable with machine learning, that's particularly deep learning, computer vision, then uh, to go a little bit deeper, I have classification, the types of classification models, I listed a couple of them, then regression, um, so on and so forth. Now the next session is the experience session. Uh, for the experience session, this can be tricky. If you are a student, you haven't had any experience, then you want to replace this with the project you work on in school. But then if you have had some experience in the past, for example, I was fortunate to do a couple of fellowships, that's two fellowships and also, also a graduate research assistant. Now, when writing all these experiences, I make sure I list um, the title of the experience, the company or the organization that particular experience is associated, associated with, and finally the timeline. For example, I have Data Science Fellow with Data Science for All as an organization, and then the timeline from April 2021 to present at the time I was still in the fellowship. Now, the next thing is to describe the project that you work on with each of um, the companies or the organization. Now, I follow the STAR approach. If you don't know the STAR approach, it simply means situation, the situation you are in, that's um, the situation, then the task you are assigned to, then the action you took, and the results. So, for example, data science fellow, um, with data science, science for all, so the situation that is, um, I was supposed to provide um, consultancy service to a Brazilian fintech company by analyzing their customer data to identify delinquency trends. So in that, I have both like the situation and the task, right? The situation I have to help a Brazilian fintech com company. What's the task? Trying to help them understand their delinquency trends um, in the customer data that they provided me with. So the first point tackles situation and the task. Now the second point, 
I that's um, the action that I took, right? The second and the third point explain the, the action that I took. That's I built um, an inferential models and machine learning predictive models to um, uncover delinquency trends in their data. And the results, so I summarized the results to how the models performed and and all that so i always follow the star approach in describing my project and as i said if possible you should add a link to the code right i did that one of my projects that has a link to the to my github is um right there as you can see now the next session i was fortunate to have both experience in the project session um uh, section now the project section as i was saying if you're a student you don't you haven't had any experience working in industry or um, a fellowship or that you can list out the academic project that you have worked on so in doing that to follow the star method again the situation the tax um, the action you took and the results and make sure you list out the tools that you use instead of saying you build a machine learning model or you build a model be specific which machine learning method did you use is it a logistic regression method what type of problem is it a classification of regression uh, problem so in academic in academic project usually you are comparing a set of candidate models which of the models um, stood out at the end of the day and also the evaluation metric that you use to evaluate the model so if you if you're able to pinpoint all those things like it's it's it helps the hiring manager or the quickly scan your resume that no this candidate uh, is the right fit for this job um, yeah so that's it for the project section then fi i have the finally i have the education section um you might be wondering why didn't i put the education section first um i think for data science and other tech uh tech positions it's very important to show showcase your skills first like because when you go on the job it's not about your school i'm not saying school is not important it's very important when you go on the job it's about what you can do so you showcase your skills for talk about education so that's why i place it last some of you might not agree but then that's what i think um that's how i think it should be done so under the school section of uh, the key things that's you make sure you state the name of the school the degree and the timeline like right? that's when you started the program and when you ended the program or when you started and when you expect to uh, finish the program so um my case i have three over here, I have University of Delaware currently in the PhD program uh, from 20, uh, 20, I expect to 2020, I'm still in the program, so present. Uh, then, University of Delaware for my master's and KNUST for my undergrad. Okay, guys, so this is the resume that basically got me interviews with top uh, data science companies for my internship last uh, summer. Uh, this is a structure that I followed, but then there are two key things I also want to talk about that uh, if you're a student, sometimes you might want to list your coursework the relevant coursework the data science related coursework that you took you might want to list them on your resume and also sometimes you want to apply to a research position a research scientist and apply scientist position for it especially for example amazon has applied scientist internships or just apply scientist full-time positions and for those uh for, for a position like this you you have to make sure you list out your publications it's very important so since those are research related posi uh, positions, you can create another section and you um, you put uh, some of your publications uh, down. Um, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, you liked it. Um, and hopefully the tips that I shared in this video will help you to uh, put together a convincing resume, a strong portfolio so that your application can uh, pull through. Um, before you go, make sure you subscribe, like the content, and share this video to others as well. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.